guys, welcome back. Happy Thursday. So Mike just left for work and I just got this little girl dressed in some play trash clothes because this morning we are going to do a, um, like a toddler painting class with our neighbors. So that should be really fun. I'm excited to have an activity for this morning, especially because it's so nice out and somebody recently found her sun hat. <laughs> We're gonna try to wear it today. Oh my gosh, she's so big in it now. This is the hat that we took to Malta with us last June and she was so little when she wore it. And we got her a pair of sunglasses too. So I'm hoping this summer she will cooperate and figure out how to wear one of them. Um, but yeah, just to give you an update for this week, it's been a little hectic. Um, she did end up getting an infection in her finger. We did end up putting her on antibiotics the second day. So after about 24 hours, we noticed it was getting worse and the doctor didn't want to wait anymore um, for it to become really bad. So she never had like a fever. It was never warm to the touch, but it was starting to look pretty nasty. She's been on those for about a week. I also just want to say if you struggle like we do getting her to take medicine it's okay to put it in juice i know it's not recommended but that's even what our doctor said you just kind of do what you got to do to make it as least traumatic as possible and um so yeah we tried to make it fun let her pick a straw um let her pick the cup that she wanted to drink out of and mixed it with whatever juice she was in the mood for so we mostly did prune juice and then uh i think one a few times we also did like that salted caramel protein milkshake. So um, I don't blame her for not liking the flavor. It was really gross. I tried it. It was the bubble gum. If you remember from your childhood, the bubble gum flavor. It was not good. It was not good. I'm sorry you were subjected to that. It was awful. But we tried to make it better for you, huh? And then a couple days after that, we played outside for a while. And when I brought her back in, she ended up having... A really bad like allergy flare up she didn't have hives or anything but she was just very snotty very congested coughing her eyes were watering and burning really bad she just was like it looked like she was constantly crying even though nothing was wrong it kind of sucked because when this all happened was when they had uh pictures with the easter bunny so she kind of looked like she was terrified the whole time because she just like was not in the mood for smiling and her eyes were watering even though she wasn't sad she liked him but Pictures didn't turn out super great, but we did get a couple cute family photos. <laughs> oh, that's oh, yeah. a good pet. <laughs> See, he's nice. He's friendly. <laughs> and, and he no says English. hi. And he says hi. <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up taking her to the doctor the next day and um, they prescribed her an antihistamine, okay. basically a children's Claritin. And we gave one dose as needed um, and it's lasted about 24 hours and she has completely cleared up for the most part. She's still a little snotty but um, not anywhere near as bad as a few days ago. She was literally sneezing like every 15 minutes and she hasn't sneezed once today. The medicine okay. is definitely helping. Um, she slept through the night last night, so we all got some much needed rest, okay. which is good. And the final and most exciting update of this week is we signed up for HelloFresh because we've kind of been in a cooking rut where we buy the same exact things each week and cook the same meals on repeat. And we also end up wasting a lot of money on like food and produce that just doesn't get used up in time or we can't figure out recipes to make with it. Yeah, the first week of meals, we'll get five meals a week for four people. Um, and it came out to like 55 bucks for this week. It's probably gonna save us some money. It's also gonna give us a variety of flavors and things that we haven't had before. And um, especially with her, like baby led weaning, it's important now that she's into toddlerhood to like let her try new and exciting things, things that taste different. and. I'm just, we've been such creatures of habit that we just cycle through the same foods and it's really difficult to get adventurous. That should be delivered today on our doorstep between 11 and 12. So yeah, we got a happy girl here today, don't we? You happy? And we're gonna go outside and start playing for the day since it's so beautiful out. Home for fingers.
finger painting and I definitely still have paint all over this shirt so I need to throw these clothes in the wash because Max was painting me more than the paper but it was a lot of fun um yeah it was just a good time it kept her entertained for well over an hour which I was a little surprised by because I really didn't think that it would keep her that busy but she loved it she got to paint alongside her friends I got to hang out with other moms and yeah, it was a good time, so highly recommend. But yeah, we came home because she started getting pretty cranky. I fed her lunch and just laid her down for a nap and our HelloFresh box was delivered. So I'm going to break this out and see what we have for the week. So this is what it looks like. And yeah, there's just a bunch of bags of food with groceries in them. So here's the five meals. 29. Oh, it's not numbered one through five. It's what we ordered. So I just pulled out my phone because I can translate everything. So here's my account and it says on the way, check your delivery, but obviously it was just delivered. And these are the meals. So this one is spicy chicken with carrot lambs lettuce. Looks good. This one is wild garlic walnut pesto on crispy potatoes. Sounds good. So this one is garlic shrimp topped with cashew chili oil. Pork tenderloin with honey mustard vegetables. That sounds really good. This one is um, family friendly, kid friendly. So hopefully Max likes that. And then the last one for the week is salmon from the oven with coconut curry vegetables. So yeah, that is everything in our little HelloFresh haul. I am excited to make dinner tonight. And the best part is I didn't have to go grocery shopping. Um, and yeah, we'll see how it turns out. Hey, I got something for you. Should we open it? Here you go, open. Oh, it's from Saks Fifth. Ooh, fancy spoiled girl. What do we got? Cute. It's more PJs. Ah. Ooh, those ones are real oh. cute, girl. That's it. These are some space <laughs> and sunflower PJs. We got 2T in the sunflower print and then the uh, oh. unicorn. <laughs> astronauts uh, and we also got um, a pair of or a set of crib sheets in this print too I think these are super cute all right baby Max are you ready for your first hello fresh smells really good looks really good I'm excited yummy oh that was a good spoon grab good fork grab Yeah, it's different. It's good. Okay, I had to cut Max's a little bit smaller. Now the chef gets to try her masterpiece. Not bad. It's pretty good. It's not as spicy as I thought it would be. I thought that those peppers were going to be marinated in the shrimp. But you add them at the end to be a topping, like a garnish. Mm. So. Which cool. is nice because I was able to leave them out of hers. So she didn't have to have super spicy food. But she's eating it well, and I think it's good. It's good. Somebody who was freaking out about how difficult, like you literally just read and followed the steps. Steps are all in German, and I thought I completely botched the meal before I even got halfway into it because it didn't make sense to me, and I did something wrong, and it ended up working out just fine. I just got stressed and overwhelmed. I also thought it was later than it actually is, so I was thinking that like I really had to knock this out quick for bedtime to start. We're still an hour ahead of bedtime, so I don't know what I was saying. For context, step one, put water in the kettle. Step two, boil the water. I can't figure it out. <laughs> what do I do? <laughs> in my defense, there's a cream sauce that you're supposed to make and does this picture not look like, hold on. Does that picture right there not look like that's a pot full of milk? I thought they were boiling the pasta in the cream sauce and yeah, after closer inspection, 
It's definitely just the bottom of the pot. Next time I make one, I'm gonna read through all of the instructions before I start so that I'm not flustered and stressing out with timers and stuff. I think that was part of the problem, but anyway. Aww. <laughs> what happened? Say bye. Bye.